Hey everybody, it's Ryan Ireland from Majingo.com and back with another video on Craft 3. And in this lesson, I want to talk about dot all, which is the new way of doing dot find, but also it's something we always have to do now in our templates. So let's talk a little bit through it and then we'll show a little bit of code so it, hopefully it all makes sense. All right, so let's talk here all about it. So dot all. So here's what we are used to doing in craft one and two. We have here for entry in craft.entries.section news. So in this case, craft.entries.section news is what's called an element query. We are actually defining a query for the data we want to return. And then we are looping over it and return and then printing that data out, in this case, the title of each entry. But what is actually happening is craft is building this query, executing it, essentially using dot find, executing that query, returning the data, and then letting us loop over it. But we're kind of shortcutting it here in the templates. So this is what we're doing. We're iterating over the element query directly. Behind the scenes, crafts knew that we wanted the actual data, so it called find for us. Now, this came about in uh, an issue that was filed for Craft 3, and Brandon Kelly said, you know, forcing everyone to always type dot all actually feels like more of an improvement. Um, it, this was after citing that there's a lot of confusion about when to use find and when not to use find, even if it's a little bit more verbose. And if you've been following my tutorials over the last almost 10 years, you know that I tend to like to be more verbose in the template code rather than assuming, you know, what's going to happen behind the scenes. I'd rather, you know, set a limit. I'd rather define certain parameters rather than falling back on the defaults. So this is, a, I think, a good move. We're going to be a little bit more verbose, but it's going to be clear. So dot all. So what's going to happen here is that looping through the element queries is deprecated in Craft 3, but will still work. Of course, in Craft 4, that probably will go away completely. So don't use it. So anytime in the past that you've used dot find, now you're going to use dot all. Even if you haven't used dot find before, you still need to use dot all because you can't loop over the element query anymore. All right, so let's look at what this is going to be like. For entry in craft.entries.section news. So I'm going to just output here entry.title and close my for loop. All right, now this will work. You can reload and you can say you can see it outputs two articles. All right. Can make that a little bit clearer here, the little break tag. There we go, two articles. But if I go over into my utility section to deprecation errors and reload, you can see that it says looping through element queries directly has been deprecated. Use the all function to fetch the query results before looping over them. This isn't really too much to ask for, right? That's how you would code this. If you were writing this in PHP, you would, um, you know, fetch them and then loop over them. We just happened to have a shortcut for a long time. All right, so let's fix that. The easy fix is I'm just going to call dot all. Save that. And now if I reload, I get the same thing. And of course, I get no more deprecation errors because we are now doing it properly for craft three. So we could also do something like, you know, um, entries equals craft dot entries dot section news, right? And then here to for entry in entries. I'm sure you've used this uh, syntax before. And then here we can output entry dot title like that. All right, we'll just comment that out for now. So let's try that one. Oop. And of course I wanna set that. All right, let's reload. Okay, we get the same thing. Uh, of course here I don't have my break tag, so it's just playing out differently. There we go, we get the same thing. Now let's go to our deprecation errors. Uh, look, we got the same thing again. We are not using dot all. So even though you might think, well, I mean, I'm 
setting entries variable and it looks like I'm querying for that data, but I'm not. This is still an element query. I haven't executed it yet and I need to execute it with dot all, even if I'm setting it to a variable and then looping over that array, I still have to set it to dot all. So let's go back, reload. That looks good. I should have no more deprecation errors and I do not. All right, things are looking good. So this is a pretty big change in craft three and you are gonna get the deprecation errors. And that's why while you're developing with craft three, keep an eye on the deprecation errors or messages that you get either using the Yee debug toolbar. You can check out my video on that or by just checking it in the control panel. Now this is gonna take some getting used to and if you're migrating sites from craft three, from craft two to craft three, you probably wanna go back and update that code so it's compliant so you're not getting deprecation errors because if you go forward to craft four, everything may break. So this is how we use dot all in craft three. I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out all my lessons at majingo.com slash lessons. If you wanna see everything that I have going on with craft, go to majingo.com slash craft. You'll be able to see all my lessons and courses and articles on Craft CMS. Thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Ireland, and I'll see you on the next video.